Hi friends. A few quick things I wanted to share with you today. First was that there was something really important I wanted to include in that tracking vision video, but I didn't put it in there. And I think I was just honestly having too much fun with the girls out there and, and playing around. It was a fun video to make. So this is the way that we can look. And when we are standing there looking out at the leaves, our foveal vision, I've spoken about this before, our detail vision wants to focus in and try to find things. And if you look, you're just going to find with that detailed vision, pieces of darkness everywhere. And it really won't make sense usually. But if you let your vision go loose a little bit and just look softly, then it might just pop out. That's what happened with Mirabelle in the end. She was looking and then, boom, all of a sudden she saw it. She let her vision go loose. So uh, I wish there was a better way to describe that. You're kind of going slightly into your peripheral and not looking at any one thing in particular, just letting your, your vision move softly over the area. Another person pointed out how great it can be sometimes to change your point of view, your angle of perception. So squatting down, getting up, higher, lower, sometimes moving side to side, even shifting where you're standing can all alter the way that light is playing on your substrate and make a big difference. Okay, these two other things. This morning, the girls and I went out and did a little snow bathing. And we're actually gonna do a video on that, I think, if the footage came out because I feel it has some really valuable things to share. But it made me think of how nature gives us these experiences, these amazing experiences. And I wanted to share an upcoming experience with you that could be amazing. So this is on the night of the 18th and then the early morning of the 19th. This is an eclipse of the moon. And it's going to be a really beautiful one where just the very edge of the moon is still illuminated. So it should have this beautiful gradient from the red of the full eclipse that you tend to see when there's a full eclipse all the way down to a little glowing edge. And it's going to be, I think, the longest lasting one in a century or something like that. It should be almost three hours long. You should be seeing this eclipse if you have clear skies and it's visible in most of the world actually now as you uh, some parts of europe think if you're in the uk that area then you're good to go but as we go further out you might not see it but uh, australia i think should be able to see it and all of north america for sure south america i think so the other cool thing about this is that at the same time that this eclipse is going on, it's the Leonid meteor shower. Now the Leonid meteor shower peaks on the 17th, but it still should be really good on the night of the 18th. And although this meteor shower is known for some really beautiful fireballs and great displays, lots of shooting stars, it's gonna be a full moon. So the sighting, eh, not the best. However, of course, during the eclipse, the sky will be darker and you might have a chance to have this eclipse with the Leonids shooting around in the sky. It could be amazing. Tune into this amazing astronomical show if you are able to. Should be a treat. The other thing I wanted to share in this video is that, wow, February, I am turning 50 and it's my birthday. <laughs> and this channel has been going on for a long time. As you know, this is kind of the heart and soul of our family's work. We have great joy in putting out these videos and also great joy in knowing that when we're at home having dinner together, those videos are playing around the world and hopefully helping people out. We also, as you probably know, have decided not to run ads on this channel. The basic concept there is that so much of our, our content is about freeing ourselves from those cultural influences. And we just don't want this to be another place 
where you're going to be barraged with that sort of thing. So we have kept those out and the only money that we earn through videos and basically for our family, our income is through our patrons, through Patreon and through PayPal, those that choose to support us every month and help us keep our dream alive. There's a couple other income streams that we have. Our book brings in a little bit and we have some online courses, but our online courses we of course offer free to anybody who wants to have them for free. So here's the thing. We don't have an extravagant lifestyle and we are able to make it on what we have, but things would be a little more financially comfortable if we had a few more people supporting our work. And this is because we've lost a few people over the last couple of months. I actually haven't updated and I need to do it, the patron list in the beginning because we've lost some people because through this whole big world event that we've all been experiencing, some people have not done so well financially and we would not even want them to be supporting us if it was taking away from their ability to pay the bills or buy food for themselves. So if you love our content and you have the means and the desire, we would love to have you in our family of patrons. And it can be just a dollar a month. We have some people that give a lot more and really support our work. Anything makes a difference to our lives because again, we don't have a super extravagant lifestyle. So for my birthday, I am really hoping that we can gain a few more patrons and bump that up a little bit. So things are just a little more financially comfortable for our family. That's all folks. Thank you. Tell me if you tune in to that show coming up on the 18th. I wanted you to know about this and to be able to plan ahead because again, this could be a super awesome nighttime show. All right, love to you all. Talk with you in the comments.